This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Yaakov Avinu utters the eternal words, Amusa Hapam, now I can die. Achare Roisias Panecha Ki Oit Chachai. Parak Vav Pasaglamed. Now, firstly, we know Yaakov Avinu recited the Kriya Shema when he met Yosef. But furthermore, how could Yaakov Avinu say these words, Amusa Hapam, now I will die? As Maril Diskin, don't Chazal tell us in the Gemara Bracha Samach Amar Aleph, La Yiftach Adam as Piv Satan, a person should not open his mouth to the Satan. How could Yaakov say, Now I can die? That's not a good thing for the Satan to hear. Isn't Yaakov perhaps endangering himself when he says those words, Amusa Hapam? So Bishua Leib Diskin offers a very uh, novel interpretation. You know, the Shulchan Aruch tells us that when a person says Shema, it should be Be'ema Uveyira Uvereses Uvezeya, with fear with dread, with trembling, with sweating. Why do you need to get so worked up when you say Shema? Shouldn't we just say Shema B'Kavana? What's the Ema? Ema maybe, Yura, I understand. Reses, shaking, Zeya, sweating. Why is Shema supposed to be such a traumatic experience? The words of the Shulchan Aruch come from the Tshuva Sarajba. The Rajba writes that when one recites the Kriya Shema, they should be Mechavein, that if they would ever be put to the ultimate test, they would give up their life, al Kedash Hashem. Not only that, one should imagine that they in fact are being killed, al Kedash Hashem, when they say Shema. Therefore, if during the Kriya Shema, one is makabel upon themselves to give up their life to al Kedash Baruch Hu, in fact, the recital of Kriya Shema is a very traumatic experience, is a frightening experience. And that's why the Shulchan Aruch requires that we recite the Shema, Be'imu v'yira b'resa suvazeya. Now, says Rabbi Sholeib Diskin, Yaakov Avinu felt that because of this tragedy, his ability to recite the Shema on the highest level to be willing to give up his life, HaKadosh Hashem, was somewhat mitigated by the tsar that he had, that he did not know where his beloved son was. It was withholding, it was preventing him from having this high-level kavana. But now that Yosef is alive, Yaakov Avinu, as Chazal say, takes advantage of the opportunity to recite Kriya Shema. And now that he recites Kriya Shema, Yaakov Avinu says, O Musa Hapam, now I could die. Meaning, now I could recite the Shema with the proper and full kavana to Imoiser Nefesh al Kiddush Hashem. Now, we just said in the previous clip that Yaakov Avinu was sending word to Esav. Hey, Esav, watch out. Yosef is still alive. And Yosef's your nemesis. Yosef's your antithesis. So I want to say, in the writings of Rabbi Yonis and Ibishitz, the impl- he learns that the Pasuk, V'hoya beis Yaakov Eish, beis Yosef Lahava, u beis Esav Lakash, the word Lakash, uh, it was pointed out to me by my friend Rabbi Avram Herbst, the word Lakash in the old editions of, of Rabbi Yonis and Ibishitz is with a little, two little streichels on the word Lakash. Because the word Lakash could stand for Lakriya Shema. Lekriya Shema. In other words, part of, part of the antagonism that Yosef has to, and Yaakov has to Esav, is through the power of Kriya Shema, we're able to destroy Esav. So it's interesting. Perhaps we could say, by, by fusing together these two ideas, that not only is Yosef the antithesis of Esav, but Kriya Shema is the antithesis of Esav. V'hoya beis Yaakov Eish, beis Yosef Lahava, beis Esav Lakash, you know how we destroy Esav? With Kriya Shema. That's why Zeresh advised Haman, go to Mor- Baboiker Emar Lamelech, go to the king in the morning before Mordechai has a chance to recite the Shema, because Shema is the antithesis of Esav. So we could say that Yaakov sends word to Esav, Esav, watch out, you know who's around? Yosef's still around. Yosef is your nemesis, your antithesis. And you know what I'm going to do when I see Yosef? I'm going to say Krishma, and then that's really going to knock you out of the waters. So we could say that Yaakov had in his mind the entire time that this union, because why is Yaakov reciting the Shema uh, when he's unifying with Yosef? There are many times he could say he had his last 22 years to say Shema, and he'll have many years after. Why now? Because since Yosef is the 
the, by uniting with Yosef, that will destroy Rav Yosef and Ichai. So therefore he takes advantage of the opportunity, Lakash, to recite the Krishma. Wishing everyone an amazing Shabbos. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.